Hi everyone. I have a journal. It's an A6 Traveller's Notebook journal and I have finished this off for my Etsy store. Uh, I wasn't going to um, be doing anything for my Etsy store this week but um, I just felt like finishing this one off so I have. It's the vintage reclaimed leather so there are still stitch holes from its original purpose. It does feel absolutely lovely. I do love this. I've got enough left to make one more and um, I'm going to make that for myself. <laughs> um, it's a wrap round. There are two inserts. There is a bird, two vintage buttons and a bell dangling from the bottom. And there is a little bird... Um, closure. So I will show you inside. <clears throat> Sorry, um, there is an envelope and inside there it just says this book belongs to. The first signature has wallflower, well they both have wallflower um, covers actually, the Tim Holtz wallflower paper. Um, this is an altered playing card um, it's been decoupaged and stamped and um, stitched onto some paper for, for journaling. That's tea stained paper on the back of that one. I'll just make sure I'm in frame. Um, there's the Edith Holder paper. Um, the tags are all from Artie Mays. Ledger paper. The trim has been stitched on to this one. There's decoupage on the paper. So the tag some stamping here and there but it's not dark so you'll still be able to write over that um, there's a little flip um, it's not a tuck spot unfortunately because while I was doing this I remembered my friend said to me oh, you did a tuck and you didn't mention Rita Donnelly I think it might have been because I've always mentioned either stealing crafting because that's the first person I saw do this or Yvonne Preston I did not know somebody had done it before so I do apologise lined paper. This is some tracing paper that I have printed onto and that's turned out really nicely. There is a bell on a paper clip and that's a nature themed book page. There's a little decoupaged pocket that's been stitched on and another one of those altered playing cards. There is loads and loads of room to journal in this book. That's another one of the tracing paper pages I've printed. There's a little decoupaged uh, butterfly. So this is the um, first signature and there's one of those little vintage buttons and a little, little bird charm on there. Um, this I got this idea from Bohemian Crafting and it's a little envelope that's been decoupaged and inside of there is um, some of the Tim Holtz wallflower. Um, paper so that's that actually feels really nice more decoupage onto the paper I love this veining um, with the tea staining I've no idea how it happened but it looks absolutely amazing there's a little decoupage B some of this French um, ledger paper uh, there is a vintage button on a garment pin. There. This one does work as a pocket. <laughs> and that's another uh, altered playing card. There's another little decoupage pocket with another playing card inside there. So that's the first signature. The second signature, I have tucked one last tag in there but it is literally a lined notebook, so lots of writing space and bullet point journaling and things like that. So there's another vintage button and a little little jingle bell on there. So um, that's the, the Traveller's Notebook. And it, like I said, it will be going into my Etsy store. Um, I hope you like it. I really enjoyed making this one because I really enjoyed doing all the decoupage. <laughs> So um, it is quite chunky, 
and thank you very much for joining me and watching and I will speak to you again soon. Thanks, bye!